The movie begins with Sava, a student in the tale. His parents are leaving for Venice and opt not to take him because he neglected to study for his entrance exams and needs to catch up. Left alone at home, Sava drinks and looks for a tutor in foreign literature. The next morning, he meets Anna the teacher, who assigns him his first task, reading books. Even though Sava is unhappy about the short duration of the class, he follows the tutor's instructions and reads the book to write a concise review. Next day, Sava arrives slightly tardy to class and presents Anna with a DVD containing a horror film. Upon reviewing Sava's work, Anna comments on his adolescent immaturity and idealistic tendencies. Nevertheless, she recognizes his exceptional intelligence and keen perception as a learner. During the class he listens to her carefully and looks at her as if she were a woman admiring the shapes of her body. As Sava leaves the class, he inquires if Anna uses social media, only to discover that she doesn't use the internet at all. Back at home, Sava shows little interest in his friends. Meanwhile, Anna decides to watch the horror film given by Sava. The following morning, during Sava's third class, he learns that the tutor had a minor mishap with a burst pipe. Sava assists in resolving the issue by shutting off the water supply, and shortly after, the class commences. Anna offers Sava a dry shirt to wear. Sava excels in his classes, which impresses Anna. She suggests discontinuing the classes since he is now fully prepared but Sava insists on continuing. Later, Anna is visited by her younger sister Marina, who invites Anna to attend her son's birthday celebration. Anna agrees and joins the party. During the event, one of the guests expresses interest in Anna, particularly because she owns a furniture factory. He invites her to visit him, but Anna is offended by the proposition as she is not interested in a romantic relationship. It becomes apparent that Anna is more interested in her nephew than the man showing interest in her. Marina requests Anna to be more amiable, but Anna refuses to feign interest. After expressing regret for her honesty, Anna abruptly leaves the celebration and returns home. The following day, Sava arrives early and discovers that the apartment door is unlocked. Once inside, Sava notices Anna getting dressed and finds himself even more attracted to her. Anna feels embarrassed and hurriedly puts on her clothes, asking Sava not to peek into her room. At the end of the class, Anna returns the DVD to Sava, thanking him. Later that evening, Sava buys lilies, thinking of Anna, and gives them to her the following morning. At this point, Sava decides to express his feelings for her, and the two become closer. Despite the significant age difference, Anna succumbs to temptation, and the couple begins to feel a connection. However, they soon realize the impropriety of their relationship. Later that day, Anna creates a social media account to view Sava's profile and photos. The next class begins with Anna informing Sava that she will no longer continue teaching him. She acknowledges that their unconventional relationship is unlikely to succeed and suggests finding a more suitable and qualified teacher. Salva ignores what she is saying and begins removing clothes. Anna tries hard to control her emotions but gives in to temptation, resulting in the couple going to bed. After that, Sava opens all the curtains in the room and embraces the moment. He is deeply in love with his tutor and doesn't hesitate about their relationship, despite the age gap. The couple starts spending extensive time together, delving into foreign literature, sharing meals, and relishing each other's company, although the age difference remains undeniable. Despite this, they feel perfectly content together, believing it will last forever. A few days later, Anna encounters her new neighbor Dimitri, who expresses interest in her, but she remains uninterested. Meanwhile, Sava's classmates organize a house party. During the party, Sava pays little attention to the other girls. However, his friends encourage him to spend time with Marion, who has been eyeing him constantly. Eventually, a game begins where participants share their desires. Mariana stands up in front of everybody and says she wants to spend the evening with Salva, putting him in a difficult scenario. Alcohol strengthens the couple's relationship, making Salva and Mariana enjoy their time together. The next morning, the couple wakes up in the same bed and Sava understands that he has made a terrible mistake. Sava misses his class with Anna and, feeling guilty, he visits her in the evening to confess that he cheated on her. He expects a furious reaction from Anna, but she surprisingly takes the news calmly. This reaction shocks Sava, but he still feels remorseful, so he pours water on himself and slaps his own face as a form of self-punishment for his actions. After Sava leaves, Anna tries to find Mariana's profile on the internet. While looking at Mariana's photographs, Anna realizes that she's not in competition with her due to their age and beauty differences. The next morning, Mariana meets Sava on the road and asks him to visit her house under the pretense of forgetting something important at his place. When they arrive at Mariana's home, it becomes 
becomes evident that she intentionally left the item behind to spend time with Sava. As Mariana starts showing interest in Sava, he clearly rejects any advances. Instead, she offers friendship, which Sava accepts, unaware of Mariana's romantic feelings for him. Sava then attends his next class with Anna. In the evening, Anna prepares a romantic dinner in her evening dress, but Sava suggests going for a walk in the park instead. Anna feels uncomfortable being with a guy half her age. During the walk, Sava attempts to hold her hand, but Anna declines, fearing the judgmental stares of others. At a certain point, Anna realizes that she's upsetting Sava and soothes him by showing affection. Upon returning home, the couple enjoys some intimate time together. They are no longer ashamed of their feelings or concerned about others' opinions. After spending time with Anna, Sava encounters Mariana while heading home. She expresses suspicion about his honesty in dating both Anna and herself. The next morning, Anna observes Sava interacting with his other classmates, leading her to once again compare herself to the other girl and feel disappointed. At home, she meets her neighbor Dimitri and, feeling disheartened, invites him over. Later, when Sava visits Anna's place and encounters Dimitri there, he is puzzled by his presence. Enraged by jealousy, Anna starts a heated argument, breaking dishes and pushing Sava away. When he decides to leave, she rushes after him to prevent him from going. After spending more intimate time together, the couple sleeps together. However, Sava wakes up later and discovers Anna with her neighbor, which makes him feel unwell, prompting him to leave and return home. Feeling deeply disappointed, Sava eagerly awaits his parents' return. When they do come back, they spend time together. Shortly after, Sava rushes to Anna's house and finds her in a depressed state. Sensing Anna's mood, Sava decides to leave. A few days later, he begins dating another girl. One day, while out, he notices Anna and decides to follow her. Eventually, he realizes he can't continue following her and calls out her name. Anna turns around, and as they lock eyes, they both realize it's not the end between them. 